Hey everyone, here's my review of the movie Moon, starring Sam Rockwell, Sam Rockwell, and Kevin Spacey. Uh, and you're probably going, why did I say Sam Rockwell twice? Well, you'll see when I get to the story of this movie. Now, before I get to the story, I want to say that I will give you a hint on how, how if I like this movie or if I hated this. Okay, if I could go back in time and start, like, uh, uh, slap myself before I made my top 20 2009 list before seeing this movie, then I would have put it on the list. Now, I'm not going to tell you what number it would be, so you don't know how good it would be. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's go on to the story, and then, yeah, we'll continue from okay, there. Okay, now, the story has to do with Sam Rockwell's character, who is Sam Bell. Sam, you know. Very clever. Anyway, Sam Bell, who is an astronaut on the moon. Obviously. Uh, anyway, he's on the moon because Earth, pretty much, it's, I, I, they didn't say what year it was. At least I, I didn't pay, I didn't see the year. But it's obviously in the near future because that's not what happened in now, at least. Because we found a new substance on uh, the moon or something. Like, I'm not sure what it is. They didn't really say. But it's a substance that we're going to mine and stuff. So, Sam is the only one there. Besides his robot, Gertie Gertieson, or just Gertie, Gertie Gertieson, that's uh, his last name, I just made that up, because, you know, Sam Bell has a last name, why can't Gertie do, huh? Freaking racist robots, he can't have a last name, he just has to be like, he has to be like Toby in freaking Roots, Kunta can't they know Toby, Uh, anyway, yeah, so Gertie Gertieson, uh, is his robot friend guy who just takes care of him, feeds him, blah, blah, blah. And he's out there pretty much, you know, making sure that these robot thing, these uh, machines are harvesting stuff in the moon. And uh, pretty much, you know, he's almost done with his three years. And, of course, at the end of his three years, he has a crash. Now, this is where it gets good. I don't want to ruin much, but pretty much he recovers from his crash somehow and finds out he has a clone. And that's where it gets good. I won't ruin anything else. I will say the story is excellent. I have to admit, for just being one guy, pretty much, in the whole movie, he plays both characters, the clone and himself. And when you find out later on what's really going on, he, he treats it like anybody else would. And really, the clones are... I mean, the, the two... I mean, they are the same character, but they are very different in in different ways. I don't want I don't want to spoil anything, man. So I'm just gonna say the story is excellent. I'm not good at t uh, telling stories. Definitely from good movies. If I I mean you you could get me to tell New Moon story easy. Bunch of faggy vampires, bunch of gay ass were werewolves, and a fucking emo slut teen have an orgy. There you go. That's New Moon. This this is hard to explain because I don't want to spoil anything. I don't care about New Moon. Uh, this is what happens at New Moon. Bella, I want you to marry me. Whoa. End. There you go. Anyway, yeah. So that's the story of Moon. It's awesome. I don't even know why I brought up New Moon. I wonder why. Anyway, yeah. Let's go on to acting. And then... And then we'll just go to overall, because there's not much else there, really. So okay, uh, acting in the movie was fantastic overall. Uh... Sam Rockwell, like I said before, he plays two roles, and he plays two of the exact same character. Uh, but they, like I said before, they are definitely, like, different, even though they are supposed to be the same person. They, they are completely different, and you'll see why in the film, so don't go, like, oh, so he's just, like, out of character, so that's not good acting. No, really, you'll see why in the film. Okay, he does fantastic. He should, he should definitely be nominated, but I doubt he will. But if he is, then maybe he should win, maybe. I think he should win. You know what? Yeah, I would say he won. He should win for, because he's the only one there besides maybe Kevin Spacey's character, who is Gertie Gerson, uh, and he does a great job. And then he finds out he has a clone, so he talks to him. And he's like, "Hey, man, hey, man, what's up? What's up?" And they do the mirror thing, like, "Whoa!" <laughs> he sounds like Ke Keanu Reeves. Anyway, yeah. Also, uh, Kevin Spacey, like I said, he plays Gertie Gerson. Uh, yep, he's uh, pretty good. No, actually, he's fantastic. I'm just kidding. Uh, he he has that cool, calm, and collective voice. Like, hello, Dave. I mean, Sam. Uh, and he, he's just fantastic in the role overall. I mean, I, I actually really like this character, even though you're probably thinking, oh, he's going to be like the robot that's like, I can't let you do that. I must kill you now. You must stay here. <laughs> like, he, he's going to do a misery. He's just going to get a block of wood, put it between uh, his foot, and just freaking smack it and like you can't leave Dave I'm Sam Psh. anyway 
Yeah, the acting overall was fantastic just from the two people that were in it. One was a voice and one was just him. But overall, yeah. You know what, I'm going to go over, I'm going to do the overall now. Uh, the next one's going to be overall. Uh, but I'm going to talk about the special effects in it. Because even though it's like a six, seven million dollar uh, movie or five million, I forgot. Ooh, yeah. Anyway, let's go on to special effects slash overall. Overall. Okay, now the special effects in Moon were fantastic. I'm just gonna say right there, five million dollars to make this. Wow, this looks fantastic. That's what I heard at least. The budget might be a little higher than that, but from what I heard, it's only five million dollars. I'm like. Damn, these special effects are really good, and there's plenty of them. It's not like you see, like, two shots of outside or something. You see plenty of shots of space and shit, and, like, the ships and the... Well, not the ships, okay? You see, like, uh, the little robots, but not little either. <laughs> Big robots that are harvesting the material in the moon. Uh, and, wow, I have to say, the special effects overall were fantastic. Just inside the spaceship that uh, Sam Rockwell's in. Wow, that looks great. And even the design of Gertie looks fantastic, but those aren't really special effects. The inside, the interior of the spaceship, and uh, Gertie, and the, you know, those aren't special effects. Those are, you know, obviously practical shit. So, the exterior also, I mean, you don't see much of the spaceship or whatever he's in, like the base or whatever. But still, I mean... It look it look great when you see it, but you see a lot of the harvesters. That's what they're called, the harvesters, obviously because they're harvesting. Ah, anyway, overall the special effects were fantastic for the very very small budget it was on, and overall the movie is one of my favorites of 2009. I'm so sad that I saw this after I did the top 10, uh, top 20, uh, because really this is fantastic. This is better than Pandorum, which has a Pandorumish feel. I really like this one more. Because, you know, Pandorum, a bunch of guys are stuck on a spaceship or just in, in space overall. This, same thing. And they're, they're in Pandorum, it's pretty much fear and stuff. And this one is just getting, you know, lonely, pretty much. Uh, overall, I love the movie. I'm just going to go out and say, fantastic movie. Go rent it. Go buy it. I don't care. It's fantastic. If you don't like it, suck my dick. Anyway, yeah. Overall, I give it a 9.5 out of 10. And that's on my serious scale. Really, if it was on my stupid scale there, uh, it would probably get almost a, a 9.6 or 9.7. Love the movie. Fantastic movie. Go check it out if you can. If you can't, then you're... Fuck you. Anyway, thank you and bye.